On the front panel we have three basic displays. The top display is giving the pressure. The middle display will actually indicate where within the cycle the unit is. And the bottom display gives the time for that given part of the cycle. The display below all of the buttons have various settings. The first setting that we come to is the actual setting of wrapped or unwrapped instruments and the actual temperature setting. Once you have done that, you then go to the wrap and unwrap part. So the drying time can be set here. Again, once you set the first two parameters, set the drying time, and then effectively here we have the main on-off switch. Once the machine is plugged in at the rear, very simple. Providing it has been selected, there is a USB outlet, so download of all of the previous cycles can be taken on a stick and put onto a computer program. Here we have the wastewater outlet that allows when the chamber is full and the machine will actually indicate that it needs emptying, this can be done. This outlet is for the clean water tank so if the machine is being moved from one location to another you would not move it with water in the fresh water tank so from this point test you would be in the fresh water where we can do a Bowie dick test or we can do a pressure leak test which is set out within the parameters and decided upon by the practice at what point in a given day. Both a small filter on the top so that particles don't enter the freshwater tank but also the freshwater tank has screws so that on a weekly basis it can be removed allowing full access to the freshwater tank so that it can be two clean. locks you've got a pressure lock as well as an, an electronic lock so that when the door is closed electronically when you press start it's locked and then obviously once you get a positive pressure it is also secondary locked steam steam inlet tubes around the back and here we have a filter um, which is removed to clean any debris that goes down in the chamber so it's not allowed to go back through any systems when the wastewater is taken out of the chamber and again cleaning instructions come with the equipment and they are indicated to be done on a daily basis. Okay. The last cycle of the day and rather than a member of staff having to stay back until it is completed cycle and switch the machine off because of the expensive and constant heating elements on the chamber then you would press the step button and the step button tells the machine this is the last cycle of the day and when complete to switch off all of the 240 volt side and just the re display remains on. When they come in the next morning they actually switch the, the machine off, switch the machine back on and it then resets and begins heating the chamber again.